Hi everyone, Tracy from the Wildlife Garden. Uh, a quick catch up with you. I'm up at the top of the garden at the moment by the dry hedge. Um, just been putting scraps into the compost bin, but I had a lovely surprise when I came up. Uh, last night I came up to the garden, as I do every night, towards the end of February, uh, checking out uh, the garden for a visitor. Before I go to the visitors, um, let's look at this gar uh, Jack by the Hedge, hedge garlic. Oh my goodness, there's an abundance of it this year. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some um, orange tip butterflies laying eggs on that. And great tip calling in the background. Just fed the birds and uh, yeah, something very exciting has happened. I just show you my uh, compost bin lid as well. Oh my goodness me. I'm going to take this off. It's just full of uh, compost worms. Look at it. Amazing. Lots of them have dropped inside since I put the lid on. I have to sort of rescue them every time I uh, come up here. I'm frightened of squashing them. Uh, yeah. Birds are singing. I've even heard them calling in the morning now. Blackbirds started singing at dawn. Spring is definitely coming. The cold weather that we were supposed to be getting doesn't look like it's going to happen, but we are going to get some heavy rain this week. More rain we don't need. And um, what I'm going to show you now in the pond, obviously, is frog spawn. But um, frogs, when when they're laying, they like their, to lay. Uh, south facing the eggs south facing the spawn for, uh, south facing in a shallow end but because we've had so much rain this pond's quite it's not going down much but um here it is beautiful frog spawn two dumps um i came up last night i did hear a plop of a frog but um i've only had one in the pond so i didn't expect there to be any frog spawn just yet but I'm hoping now once it starts it'll continue and this is the first time I've ever had spawn on this side of the pond they're usually always in sort of this area here which is the shallowest end it's not too deep there but they do like it to be in the sun so yeah make sure your pond's in the sun if you want frog spawn there's definitely something in here because I keep seeing ripples so hopefully we'll get some more tonight I'll try and sneak up and film them but it's because I don't have many, they're very, very cautious and um, they don't hang around. They even feel the vibrations of my feet as I walk up um, up the path. But yeah, there's definitely vibrations in there. So a bit of luck. Um, there'll be more spawn tonight. We might see a coupling. I'll try my best. Um, birds have just come down to feed. I'm loving the crows at the moment. The crows are getting sort of used to me. And um, normally they sitting well the one is braver than the other there's always two the one sits in the pear tree but this morning the one was right by the shed calling at me to get that food out and I give them dry mealworms and as you can see he's in the bird bath and he gathers up the mealworms and drops them into the um, bird bath to rehydrate them and then uh, eats them they're so clever aren't they I do really like crows uh, off they go, I've heard my voice or the one is more anxious than the other one. And the collared doves and wood pigeons, just wood pigeons at the moment. I've been getting uh, three collared doves, so, and the sparrows are dashing in and out in the background. Crocuses are all coming up. Everything's just, oh, it's just a tingly sensation, isn't it, when you, you just want to get in the garden, but you know you've got to be good and not get in the garden. Um, there are a couple of things I can do. I did mention the winter jasmine the last time, but also roses. It's no harm um, pruning things. What you don't want to be doing is getting up all this leaf litter and cutting back shrubs that are giving ground cover really. A lot of the insects are in the ground cover and seed heads so only prune things like roses they haven't got seed heads and obviously the winter jasmine. Other things I shall be leaving like all the, the mess that's down there. But yeah so great news 
it's the start of the uh, frog spawn season. Crocuses are coming up. I've had honeybees in the crocuses. Um, oh, it's just a great time of year. The next, mm, are we are Feb. March might be cold. We do get cold Marches, and we've had snow in April, but. Yeah, it's just how green everything is and vibrant, whatever the weather. So, yeah. So, uh, primroses are looking great too. Yeah, so all that bundle of, uh, of uh, um, the, it's all from the uh, geranium. I shall leave. It's under there that you find all the stuff. And as a sh uh, if you pick up little leaves and have a look, you'll see springtails. They're tiny little creatures. Sometimes if you're moving stuff, you'll see lots of little insects bouncing about. They're called springtails. If you look at photos of springtails, they're absolutely stunning little insects. You'd never want to harm one once you see them. I recommend you look them up. Um, yeah, springtails are important for wrens, dunnocks, robins, blackbirds. Uh, the little protein sacs that are hidden under the leaves that uh, birds who come down and forage in that uh, growth uh, feast upon, as well as wood lice and other insects that might be in there. So yeah, another another couple of um, probably start in the middle of March for me. That's when I usually start, and I do it slowly. I don't rush. My robins just come down as well. It's in the um, rosemary, in the lavender shrub. It was in the shed the other day gave me a fright. I walked in and he flew into the window. I shocked him. So I'll go steady so I don't uh, surprise him too fast. The um, the catkins on this uh, willow are still beginning to open. A bit of sunshine and they'll properly pop. So that's doing really well. That's food for bees. Oh yeah. No, oh, I'm in the shed. She needs a massive tidy up, but there's time yet. Sorting, they're sorting this out to the winter shed. So, right, um, happy, to, so excited and happy. Sorry, spinning you around then. Uh, excited and happy that I've now got uh, my first frog spawn. Hope your ponds are starting to get lively too. Take care, everyone. See you soon. And very happy, Tracy from the Wildlife Garden. <laughs>